היי, מני מזרן שרון, and I'm the CEO of Clarity. At Clarity, we transform plastic waste no one wants into products everybody needs. Now, how do we do it and from where the plastics comes to us? So usually the types of plastic we use can be found in post-consumer plastic waste. We can find it in industrial waste and we can find it in agricultural waste. The type of plastic we do like is mainly in the fields of polyolefins and polystyrenes that represent more than 70% of plastics. Now, additional interesting part is that we actually do not care if it's a mixed plastics. We don't care if it's a mix between flex and rigid. We don't care on the different colors. We don't care if there is a little bit of metal inside. We simply don't care. And the truth, we do love the mix of plastics. First part, we thermocrack the plastics and we convert it into a mix of hydrocarbons that looks and smell like crude, or shall I say, light crude. Thereafter, we do a process of hydro treatment where we take the sulfur out, we take impurities out, we take the double bonds which makes the smell, and we take the color out. This is a hydro treatment complex process that we do uniquely at Clarita. Thereafter, we run it through a distillation columns. In the distillation columns, at the end, we have three families of products, solvent family, oil family, and wax family. So our solvent family, for example, it looks like water, there is no smell, no impurities. Our oil family is the same. Looks like water, have no smell, no impurities. Last but not least, our wax family. Snow white waxes, no smell, hard, fantastic to be used. So in order to reach the stage we are here today, we need to go a little bit and understand the history. So Clarity started about 17 years ago when Professor Andrzej Bielicki, one of the leading scientists in Poland and in Europe, came to see me and shared with me his vision to take post-consumer plastic waste and turn it into mineral oil. Now, I really didn't know what is mineral oil, so I asked Professor Bielicki and he said, you know, people often use it as a baby oil, but it can be used in various applications. And I said, hmm, intriguing, because what I liked is the concept of taking something with negative value and turning it into a positive value. And this is how Clarity started. So first, we allowed Professor Bielitsky with other scientists to sit in a lab and develop the technology, or shall I say, develop the chemistry behind the technology. And this is what we did for the first couple of years. In 2006, we decided it's good enough and it's time to develop our process properly. So we have created a pilot in Gliwice, the south of Poland, where we have a pilot working till today, from 2006 till today. But you know, it's not the same pilot that we built in the past, but every time we reached a moment that we say it is perfect, we said, can we make it better? So we built again a pilot and again a pilot and again a pilot. So our pilot today is number 13. And after years of research and understanding that our chemistry work and our process work, it was time to scale it up and to see, can it be used as an industry? And for that, we have created an industrial scale plant, which is located in East London, South Africa. It is a 15,000 square meter facility. You can see a picture of this a little bit in the back. And this is where we take tons of plastic waste and we convert it into tons of great products. Again, oils, solvents, and waxes. Clarity is doing plastic to advanced products. Products that can be found and are used throughout the world. Products that can be found in more than 1,000 applications. Products that you can find in a lipstick, in a, in a shoe polish, in a car wax, and you know what? Even in uh, detergents and others. So these are the type of products that Clarity is doing from plastic waste that no one wanted. So again, in order to have a Clarity facility and in order to understand our technology, you need to remember the following. First, we take plastic waste no one wants. We turn it into a Clarity raw material. We crack the plastic and we create out of this chain of hydrocarbons that looks and smells like crude or light crude. Then we hydro treat it in order to take all the impurities out, the smells and the colors. And at the end, we distillate it to a perfect product.
Let's mention some of the key strengths of Clariter. The first one is obvious. We help to reduce the problem of plastic waste, or what the UN refer to as the pandemic. A second strength of Clariter is by using Clariter products, we actually decrease the dependency of crude products. Another strength is job creations, because the holistic approach of Clariter is around Clariter facility, we encourage to develop small, medium-sized enterprises that can develop end products coming from our products. So imagine in South Africa, a small entrepreneur that creates shoe polish. Now the shoe polish is being created from the same plastics that he helped with his friend to collect throughout his community. This also brings as a result the need to import less of product to a specific market and create ability to increase exports of end products. I'm often been asked, am I a plastic recycler? And my answer is no. Let me explain why. Usually recycling is taking the same and turning it to the same stuff. So taking plastic, cleaning it and putting it back as plastic. Does Clariter take plastic and turn it back to plastic? No. Clariter, as I said, start with plastic and end up with a totally different product. Now, this is why we consider Clariter not as a plastic recycler, but as an upcycler. Today, we are in the world of chemical, not recycling, but chemical upcycling. And we consider it even as a chemical upcycling plus. Why? Because we take something that no one wants with a negative value and we turn it into products that everybody needs with a great value. Our next stage of development after 17 years of research is global rollout. And in order to achieve that, we did a couple of things. First, we have identified four locations, two in Europe, one in Asia, and one in Africa. Second, we teamed up with organizations such as the EAB, European Investment Bank, to create the right structure for these facilities. Third, we secured raw material agreements in order to make sure that we have a constant supply of raw material at the grade and types that we like. And fourth, we have secured offtake agreements selling our end products, some of them at the local market, some of them with the global expansion. This is what we do, and this is what we are intending to do for the next couple of years. At the same time, when engineering works will start preparing, what we will do with our business development team is to look at the rest of the world, where we can license our technology, where we can enter as joint venture partners, and where we can build it by our own. The world is our oyster, and this is just the start. Now, I want to share with you a project that we do, which will show you the strength and the uniqueness of Clariter. So we were approached by an NGO that the sole purpose of this NGO is to clean the ocean. And they said, what do we do with all the plastic waste? And we said to them, bring us the most complicated plastics. And they brought fishing nets and they brought, brought packaging that they found and they brought it to Clariter. And Clariter was putting these plastics in the process. And what came out is the same solvents, oils, and waxes. And we help them and we have developed, and this is the uniqueness, we have developed a surf wax. Our surf wax that later on is being provided or sold to the same surfers that are using it on the surfboards. And the same surfers are the ones that are hurt the most when they see the plastic in the ocean. So it is cool. We contribute to the cleaning the ocean, we contribute to solving the ecological problem, and we contribute to so provide to the surfers a clean wax that is coming not from crude, but from the same trash that they have collected. So as mentioned before, we collaborate with various organizations, companies, etc., etc. I just want to, to mention some of the significant ones that we really enjoy and like cooperating. The first is the Solar Impulse Foundation, one of the leading NGOs in our field that chose us to be one of the thousand solutions to save the planet. The second is the EAB, the European Investment Bank, that teamed up with us to build the right structure for Europe. Third is the IDC, the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa, which is the development organization, the leading development organization in the country that teamed up with us to build the ISP in South Africa and is a great partner to work with and there are many, many more. 
Now, a special request for me is for you to come and join us, is to come and be partners in our journey, because we understand that we cannot do it alone. There is a great African proverb that we often use, which said, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. And this is why we need you to join us and help us to go together. The essence of Clarity is to find values where others do not. From the process that we do of taking plastic waste no one wants and transforming it into products everybody needs, to even the stuff that we have. With more than 80 people, we speak 24 languages because we have 40 nationalities. We have gender parity of one to one. We like to hire people that just graduated and people who just went to an early retirement. We simply look at the way of how can we take something that people do not see the value and turn it into a positive thing. For that, Clariter allows a clean slate for a government, for an industry, for a company, to the society, and even to us.